Having swapped clubs in and out of my bag over the last number of years, I've now ended up with different golf grips in my driver and fairway woods compared to my irons and specialist wedges. I've never really noticed it before and so prior to deciding whether to do anything about it over the close season, we did some detailed analysis on what grips the top 100 pros in the PGA Tour are using to see what the most popular grips on tour are, what size of grips they use and whether they prefer cord or non-cord ones. The top 100 PGA Tour pros have a noticeable preference for Golf Pride golf grips. Golf Pride grips are the most used by the top 100, with 86% choosing them. Lamkin grips used by Tony Finau and Justin Rose are the next most common, chosen by six. Iomic grips are picked by four pros, while Superstroke are used by Jordan Spieth and Joel Damon. Ping and Gripmaster grips are used by only one pro each. When we last did this analysis a couple of years ago, Golf Pride grips were again shown to be the most popular among this elite group, with 75% using them. So with 86% now choosing them, their dominance seems only to be growing. But as we start to delve a bit deeper into the grip choices of the best players on tour, the precision with which they approach them is obvious, and as exacting as it is with all their other equipment choices. While the Tour Velvet grip continues to be the most popular choice among the top 100 on tour, with 33 pros using them, including Scotty Scheffler, Patrick Cantley and Adam Scott, 55 of them choose other types of Golf Pride grips. Rory McIlroy, for example, uses the multi-compound MCC grip, the next most popular with 19 users, as does John Ram and Victor Hovland. Tour Velvet cord grips are chosen by 16 pros, while Tero Hatton prefers the MCC Plus 4, which is designed to assimilate four additional wraps in the lower hand to encourage lighter grip pressure. Sam Burns and Cameron Young then use the aligned versions of the Tour Velvet and Z Grip cord grips respectively to help them ensure they place their hands correctly in the club every time. In simple terms, a line refers to a raised ridge along each grip, which allows a player to find a consistent feel and therefore hand placement each time they pick up a club. The great Tiger Woods, meantime, has preferred a standard 58-round Tour Velvet cord grip during his career, with one wrap of build-up tape and one wrap of double-sided tape applied underneath. Others, such as Taylor Pendrith and Andrew Putnam, also don't use the same grip in all their clubs, opting for different grip types on their woods and or hybrids, compared to their irons and wedges. Pendrith, for example, chooses MCC grips for the longest clubs in his bag before switching to Tour Velvet cord grips for his 3-iron through to 60-degree lob wedge. It is unlikely that golf grips are ever the main topic of conversation in the clubhouse among amateur golfers across the world, but it is clear from looking at the golf grips chosen by the top 100 PGA Tour pros that it is something they pay close attention to. The golf grip is the only point of contact every golfer has with the club so it makes sense that it should never just be a case of any player simply living with whatever grip comes in the clubs they choose. The best pros on tour clearly don't, and our in-depth analysis of the golf grips used with the top 100 found that the pros clearly spend a great deal of time ensuring their grip is as comfortable and suited to them as possible. And a key part of that relates to the size of grip the pros choose. Briefly, before we get onto that though, please hit the like button if this video has been helpful to you thus far. Thanks for doing that. It's much appreciated, and if you're also interested in the putter grips the pros are using, check out our other video covering this alongside the most popular putters on tour. Getting back to grip sizes though, the majority of the top 100 PGA Tour pros use standard size grips, including Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy and Justin Thomas. Others, such as Sam Burns, Tony Finau and John Ram, use mid-size grips, but each pro will also add varying amounts of tape under the grip to create a size that matches their specific requirements. And that final point is the key one when it comes to discussions about the size of grips the pros use. For some pros, a mid-size grip is too large for their liking, but a standard size grip is too small. That is why they will add extra wraps of tape underneath in order to get grip size absolutely spot on. Because the number of build-up and or double-sided tape wraps a player uses under their grip gives it a different width and therefore size. And not only that, the tape they use will give the club a different weight, as will their cord grip, which also means it is going to be a bit heavier. 2023 Masters champion John Ram, for example, uses only one tape wrap underneath his mid-size Golf Pride MCC grips. 
but Scotty Scheffler uses six wraps of tape under his standard 58 ribbed Golf Pride Tour Velvet grips. Tony Finau, meanwhile, opts for a near unbelievable 13 wraps under the right hand and 12 under the left of his Lamkin UTX midsize full cord grips. That suggests Finau is gripping the branch of a small tree rather than a golf club, but his reasoning for doing this is to try and produce a near uniform thickness from grip to shaft compared to the standard taper in the lower hand. In other cases, tour pros will opt for extra tape wraps only under the lower half of the grip. Xander Schofle is one such player whose Golf Pride MCC grips get progressively larger as they reach his lower hand. While the left hand of his grip is standard size, he opts for one 4-inch tape wrap followed by a 6-inch wrap under the right hand to help him slow down club rotation and start the ball right for his ideal shot shape. As a general rule, adding four extra layers of tape, in addition to the one wrap of double sided tape needed to adhere the grip to the shaft, will take a grip from an undersized to standard, standard to midsize, and so on. And you should also take note that building up grips with extra tape will stretch the rubber and make it feel firmer. So when you start looking at what sizes of grips the pros use, bear in mind that the manufactured size they are shown as choosing does not tell the whole story. Watch the PGA Tour for any length of time and it won't take long before you notice the various multicoloured golf grips that many of the pros have in their clubs. While all the main manufacturers produce multicoloured grips these days, the most common coloured grip is the Golf Pride MCC, which is a hybrid grip with a standard lower section and cord upper section. And when it comes to cord grips, it is interesting to see what proportion of the PGA Tour pros are using them. 28% of the top 100 use full cord grips, with 19% choosing hybrid grips. The majority of the top 100, just over 50%, choose non-cord grips, however, and among this group, Golf Pride's Tour Velvet grip is the most popular. By choosing MCC grips in his woods and Tour Velvet cord grips in his irons and wedges, Taylor Pendrith was once again an anomaly with his choice of a mixture of full cord and hybrid grips in his golf set. But why do some of the pros decide to go for cord grips, whether that is just for the top hand with the hybrid grips or for both hands with the full cord options? Pros choose full or half cord golf grips because of the extra traction they give to stop the club spinning in their hands when their hands are sweating or they are playing in wet conditions. Cord grips absorb more moisture by virtue of the cord strands that are sandwiched and moulded between two thin layers of rubber. The key word when it comes to golf grips is feel, and with cord grips they have a likely sanded feel. And it is this that adds the extra friction with a player's hands when they grip the club compared to a standard soft, non-cord rubber grip. Like every golf swing, however, every player is different when it comes to which golf grips they prefer the feel of in their hands, and personal preference clearly plays its part among the top 100 players in the PGA Tour. So that's it for this look at the grips used by the top pros in the PGA Tour. As ever, and most importantly, we hope you're enjoying your golf. And if you like this video, just tap one of those boxes on the screen, and we'll see you over in another one.